Nick Cannon says women only want to date bad guys. So he was basically saying women only exactly. want bad boys, which there is some truth to. I've never been a woman. I can't. No, I'm saying if... <laughs> All I'm I've been saying, asking, define what a bad guy is. A bad boy does not mean you got felonies. It just means that you're not boring. That's it. She likes some excitement. That get the juices flowing. I don't know how to do that, though. That's teetering yeah. on homo. That's you see how I'm women. trying to navigate this It's shit. difficult. And you're doing yeah. a beautiful job, like, dancing around this because I don't know how to fight that off yeah. because I don't know what you're supposed to say. I just agreed that they're correct because women don't like boring... You're running. dedicated to not understanding you're what I'm trying, saying. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to make understand you it. back in the, in the corner until he says some gay shit. <laughs> <to make sure. laughs> I'm not. Say what type of... They do like this. Playing gay chess. Exactly. Your move. Man, you say gay chess. Hey, and and you on the clock, too. Yeah. <laughs> now, go. I'm just that conversation took a crazy turn, but... Like I said, women don't like boring guys. You can try to be Mr. Romantic, but to be honest with you, if you all the way romantic and leave no room for excitement, eventually she's gonna get bored. You have to find a balance. Room for excitement, room for romance. I've been shot 17 times. I got set up by a girl, and I'm thinking I'm going to her crib, the heat. At that time, I used to drink, so I'm drunk off the Hennessy. I actually had a bottle of Hennessy in this hand. I had my scrap right here on this hip. When I t told the girl I was out, I was there outside. She's like, the door unlocked. She's gave me an apartment number and said, the door unlocked. When I walked in, it was pitch black dark in that bitch. So I'm like, man, what the f And as soon as I said, what the f Somebody grabbed me from the back. The person was taller than me. So when they grabbed me, they grabbed me up here. This was still movable. So I grabbed, first thing I did was grab my scrap off my hip. And as I'm doing it, it was like all up in one motion. I seen the coming out the hallway, like floating. He wasn't walking. He was floating looked at like the Grim Reaper. And he came from down that hallway and I dropped his ass. Bum, bum. And when he dropped, the guy that was holding me from the back, he pushed me. Like, he let me go and push me. And when he pushed me, I didn't even see nobody over here. But it was somebody over there because I felt the bullet hit this leg first. I'm just feeling the shot. I'm not knowing what's going on. My gun is no longer in my hand. The last thing I remember seeing was, all right, I'm dead. I got like seven times in one leg, six times in well, I've been shot 17 times. Hey, yo. You know how lucky he is to be alive? Getting shot in the leg does not necessarily mean you can survive, bro. It was a football player that got shot in the leg, and it hit an artery, and he bled to death. He got shot one time in his leg. This man said he got shot seven times in one leg, six times in the other. I don't know where else he got shot at, but, bro, stay dangerous. I feel as though a lot of you that are subscribed to my channel are of hood essence, so you understand the ins and outs, you understand the dangers of being in that type of environment. Even though this, no matter where you at, things can happen anywhere. I want you to understand that it does not matter if you have a strap. I live in a state where I can legally carry my gun. I have no felonies. I'm a law-abiding citizen. So I can legally have a firearm to defend myself, defend my family. It's people out here that have the misconception that because they have a firearm, that shit makes them invincible. No. When them boys run down on you to take whatever it is they're trying to take from you, it happens so fast that you're not going to have time to react. If somebody get the drop on you, even if you have that thing on you, give it up. Give it up. Because the person that's coming for you, their nerves is going to be on, on 10. So any weird movement that you make, bang, bang. Any weird, any sudden movement, any, their nerves are going to be on 10. Give it up, bro. Live to fight another day. You might see a, a, a tattoo that looks familiar. You can catch them later on down the road. Live to fight another day. That pistol you have on you does not make you John Wick. Excuse me, miss. Good day. Oh, my God. Hey. What do you want? I'm trying to get some information for you. Did you witness the incident that happened earlier? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, I'm trying to... Take your camera for me. Well, ma'am... Take your camera for me. Ma'am... Take your camera for me. Ma'am, I do apologize. I'm very sorry. Look here, look here, reporter boy. Sir, sir. I'm really just... I fooled that you have another bag? Yeah, actually. Me say, yes. Me say the big fat boy with the world of belly. Just run down the belly boy and say, chop, chop, chop him up. Like he work part time in a butcher shop. I so you know the victim yes uh, 
And the boy must stink. He must stink like sewage dump. Oh my God! Now, ma'am, do you know where the victim lives? Yes, yeah, sir. He lived down the road where the cow jump over the moon. Child. What? One last bit of information, and this is very important. Do you have any identifying characteristics of the attacker? Maybe his height, his age, maybe his race? Me know him race, sir. Can you tell us more? Him belong to the human race. Goodbye. Hey, yo. What I want to say is it has nothing to do with what they was talking about. But I'm pretty sure y'all already understand. <laughs> y'all know what I'm referring to. I mean, I ain't... That's, that's, that's just insane. Wait. How you discover you have this talent? You know what? I still know a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Yeah, I didn't know that it was bike police that pulled him over. started it you started it Tyreek don't run up on my window like that you started giving them boys attitude but the officer took it too far it went from being a, a traffic stop to measuring who got the bigger nuts why y'all beating on my window like y'all crazy for damn yo yo bro oh dude no oh yo bro dude beating on my window like he's crazy oh
if you're a celebrity, that does not mean that you're above the law. But there is no way that they knew that that was Tyreek Hill. There is no way. Those are million dollar knees. Y'all boys wildin'. You see? Right now. I'm gonna lock you up. Your license right now. Your this is where it goes from are you the police or are you a n I'm gonna have to knock the f out? At the end of the day, I'm a man first, just like you're a man. Underneath that uniform, you're a man. I feel as though even though you have that power, treat me with the respect that you would treat a man. Because that's where a lot of these things stem from. You start disrespecting the public, they start disrespecting you back. And now you feel as though you have to use force. Your license right now. I'm just, you're dealing with me now. Sir. Your license right now. We're not playing this game here, man. Yeah, he's the aggressor. Alright, go get your license. Close that door. Nah, you don't he don't too much. Who's the officer? Hey, you notice that their energy changed once they realized who they had in the cuffs? The energy has shifted because now everybody is limping around like, damn, we might have fucked up. We might have messed up. This is why a lot of people are not fans of the police department. These type of interactions. A lot of officers use the uniform as a camouflage to disrespect, to belittle, to antagonize. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of police officers that walk around here with a chip on their shoulder. Now I'm not saying all, because I have friends who are police officers and they don't act like this. 